Hey guys, it's Lori with LM's Crafty Creations, and I am here to share a new project with you. Um, but first, I want to thank someone. I had um, Debbie, and you know who you are, um, because um, obviously you sent the note, um, had made, had sent this beautiful poem to me, and this letter that was just so heartfelt, and um, I just, I was really touched by it, so I just really wanted to say thank you at the beginning of my video to Debbie, and then she made this gorgeous, can you all see this? She made this gorgeous charm for my glitter glue, and I just wanted to say thank you so much, Debbie, for sending this to me, and I'm actually going to put it in my glue right now, and it's just going to be perfect, so... Thank you so much. I appreciate that note. Okay, now let's talk about the album. This album was made using the Craftology kit from countrycraftcreations.com. If you're not familiar with those kits, they are, um, what are they, bi-monthly now? By every other month, <laughs> whatever that is. Um, and you, it's a great kit. You get... I got Prima flowers in this one. I got four or five different types of ribbon. I got tons of papers, the whole collection pack. This paper is Simple Stories, My Valentine. Um, what else do we get? We got lightweight chipboard, but I didn't use it in this project. Uh, we even got a piece of vellum that I also did not use. Um, it's just a really great collection. So you can purchase your kits from countrycraftcreations.com. I'll put a link to the craftology boxes down below. And um, <clears throat> if you're interested, you can check those out. I think this one might be sold out, but you can go ahead and sign up for the, the next month, I think. Uh, so check that out. Um, let's talk about this project. So I did a really simple project. And I know I say that about pretty much everything I do, um, but it is really simple. Um, I used the album wrap tutorial from um, Tamara with Country Craft Creations, and um, and it's so easy. Um, I, I use a similar technique when I create my journals at, when using fabric, but she has done it with a mini album. And so I'm going to link that tutorial down below so you can see how I did this, and you can use her tutorial to follow along as well. Um, but the only difference is, is that I wrapped my chipboard in pattern paper instead of cardstock. So, um, and it turned out really well. So, on the front cover here, I have done, um, this is actually part of the paper, this piece right here. This piece right here, I fussy cut from a 4x4 um, a four four cut apart. This, these two pieces of ribbon came in our kit. And then I actually, when I put the pattern paper onto the chipboard, I felt like the glue marks that I had used from the art glitter glue showed through. Um, and so before I let it dry completely, I added like this pink paint. Can you see the paint? Now I really like how the paint came out, but I found out later it wasn't necessary. So I added the pink paint and then I did red splotches on top of it, like little splatters. Um, but I'll show you why it wasn't necessary. So here's the spine, and um, it has that cute images of those little children. And then here is the back. Now the back had those images too, like I could see through here where I'd put the glue. And I discovered that once I let it dry completely, it didn't show through anymore. So just a quick note, if you choose to cover your chipboard in pattern paper, um, let it dry before you freak out and think that, oh my gosh, this looks terrible because that's what I thought on the front cover. I thought it was ruined and which is why I added the paint. But I ended up liking how the paint turned out anyway. Um, but just so you know. Okay, on the inside, what I did is on the front cover, I did pockets. Now I have made everything in this album just out of pattern paper, except for this, the spine and the hinges. I did that out of cardstock, but all the pages I made out of just pattern paper. Um, and so this pocket is just pattern paper, and so are these little stacked pockets as well. Um, the stacked pockets, I had used them, I made tiny pockets so that I could just put the leftover pieces of ephemera that I had in here. 
and I just wanted them sticking out so that whoever um, gets this album can use them throughout the book or they can just leave them there to look cute. And then I have two photo mats in the side pocket here. This collection is gorgeous. I am not a huge Valentine's fan. Um, I I just don't really, I could take it or leave it. It's not that big of a deal to me. Um, but I love the florals and the hearts in this paper because I, mean, I love hearts. Um, so here I've made envelopes and I made the envelopes using my envelope punch board. And then after I made them and put them together, I just sliced them down the side, just barely, so that I could have an opening to put them on my hinge. Of course, I'll show you how to do that shortly. Um, I've used a piece of ephemera here to keep this envelope closed. And this is the only place where I did that because I didn't feel like I needed to have the rest of them closed. So this just opens up. It's a simple envelope. And then it just has, I've used all the cut aparts in the collection as photo mats in this book. And then this just turns. And you can put a, a picture here if you choose to. But um, I would probably, here, actually this space has a, like a white space would be perfect for a photo. But I would put mine like right here. So this is just a flap that is made out of the pattern paper as well. Um, this is one of those gorgeous Prima flowers that were included in the kit and then just a piece of ephemera and it's left open so you could tuck things behind it. This turns and again um, the pockets here are made out of pattern paper and I've stuck this piece of uh, this cut apart here over the top of the pockets uh, to keep this flap from catching on the corner pockets. So I like how that turned out and then I have of course just two photo mats and again you could put photos on those or you could write little notes or just whatever you choose to do and so again I don't have a closure here I just left it so you could just open and then you have your photo mats there and then it flips and then it's just going to repeat so super simple um, I have a little piece of ephemera another prima flower again I would just leave this open to look at the pretty paper but you could absolutely slap a photo on here um, but I would put mine right here and then here I have a 4x4 and a 3x4 photo mat if I could get it there we go this just opens and that way you get to see both sides of the gorgeous paper and then more photo mats inside. So super simple for someone just to be able to slap their photo on those things. Again, beautiful paper. This I've left open, but I did glue it down. Another flower, super simple album. Here, more cut aparts, photo mats. This would also be a good album for um, if you have um, kids for them to just stuff their Valentine's in, you know, that they get from school. Another envelope, turns, and again, spaces for photos here, another flower. This was my favorite little piece of ephemera, so I've partially glued it down there. And then here are the photo mats for this. Oh, they both say all my heart. I didn't even notice that when I put them in here. That's funny. Piece of, uh, or a journaling card. And again, more photo mats. I mean, I didn't even count how many um, photos this book would hold. On the back page, I didn't put an extra flap because you have the pocket. So I did smaller pockets. If you notice the difference, you have this over here and then this down here. Um, I did smaller pockets because my ephemera was smaller. And so I didn't want it to go all the way through, you know, just I wanted you to still, I wanted it to poke out of the pocket is what I'm trying to say. And then just two photo mats there. So that is it for this album. I mean, it's really simple and super easy to put together. And we're going to go through the tutorial right now. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is, put my phone over there, how to make the envelope. So if you're not familiar with the envelope punch board, you're about to be. 
So you're going to want to choose your pattern paper. You're going to need four, no, five different papers um, for the envelopes. And I have chosen this for my envelope. And on the envelope punch board, I made envelopes for five by seven cards. So if you open it up here, I have um, card size five by seven. That means I need to cut my paper to nine and seven eighths square. So that is what I'm going to do right now. So I'm just going to take this piece and forgive my blade. It is, <clears throat> I need a replacement. It's fraying my paper, so it's gonna look funny. Nine and seven eighths. Okay, so now I have my square piece of paper. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just have a, I have allergies today. A little frog in my throat. So I'm going to open this up. And I use my other scoring tool. Where is it? Here we go. And I'm going to lift this out because I'm going to need the full scoring. And it says for a 5 by 7 card and a 9 and 7 eighths paper size, I need to punch this at 4 and an eighth. So... I'm going to line this up at four and an eighth here at the top. I'm going to punch it. And then I'm going to use my scoring tool and I'm going to score it. Then I'm going to rotate and I'm going to just keep going. Rotate and score. If you don't have an envelope punch board, I suggest you get one. <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever bought. I love this thing. Okay, so here is my envelope. I am gonna punch one of my corners. Is this the corner rounder? Yeah. I'm only gonna do one. And So now that I have my envelope, I am going to fold on the score lines, give it a good crease. Now what I did on my envelopes is I didn't want this flap showing. So what I did is I took my ruler and a pencil and I'm just going to cut it off and I'm going to line it up with this, these corners right here. So to make sure I do that evenly, I just drew a line using my ruler and I'm going to cut this off. Because that way you get to see a little bit more of this paper. Okay? So I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to go ahead and put my envelope together. And this one folds this way. Give that a good crease. Let's close this up because I've had trouble with my glue getting clogged lately. And now I'm going to bring my trimmer back in. And I'm going to trim like an eighth of an inch off this closed edge. So that way I can attach it to my binding system. So I'm just going to line it up. And trim it. I mean, and this is as big as it is. It's just a small piece. It's folded in half, so that's how big it ends up being. But I'm just going to trim that off. So now, I can attach it to my page. So that's it for the, the envelope. It's super easy. Now, for the flap that's attached to it, I'm going to take another piece. This is a more solid piece of cardstock. The in the kit you got like three pieces of like a, a dot pattern um, of coordinating like kind of um, papers that go with the collection, um, and that's what I used for my flaps. So I'm going to measure this. I cut mine to four and three quarters. 
by I think seven and a half is what these are. Yes, seven and a half. So I'm gonna cut this at seven and a half. And then I'm going to score. at half an inch on the four and three quarter inch side. And then I'm gonna fold on this score line. Where, there we go. I'm gonna miter these corners. And I'm treating this page just like a base page to an album. I'm gonna turn it over to the side. I'm going to add my, oh, excuse me, I'm gonna add my glue. So sorry. And I'm just going to open up that pocket and put it face up and just add a flap. Okay, just like that. Now what I did on these corners is I used my corner rounder and I rounded the corners and I used the smaller setting that I never use. Um, I think it's a quarter of an inch round and I just rounded those. Um, now we're going to do the corner pocket. So for the corner pocket you're going to need to cut a piece at 5 inches by 5 inches, which I've already done. I'm going to use this piece right here. It's 5 by 5 and you're going to score on all four sides at half an inch. Now if you're using pattern paper to do this like I did, you don't want to press too hard on this pattern paper because it will tear. Because it is not as thick as the cardstock that we normally use to do this with. Okay, I'm going to bring my trimmer back in. <clears throat> and I'm going to cut this on the diagonal. Got a little gunk in my row. I need a new trimmer. Um, okay. So I have two pieces. For these pieces, we are going to miter the corners at the bottom. Just like we do corner pockets all the time. You're going to fold on your score lines. Give it a good crease. Do that for both. And then cut your wings off, even with your pocket. Okay. I did ink around the edges of mine, but you don't have to. It's just personal preference. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue on this entire hinge and then I'm going to put glue on here up to about here and I'm going to stop and I'll show you why. So here and here. And see I left a little space right here with no glue. So I'm going to glue this down and I'm going to line it up at the bottom and the side. Now this one, the reason why I left that little part open right here is because I'm going to take this flap here and I'm going to tuck it underneath this pocket and glue it down. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to put glue on this entire both hinges. and I'm going to tuck it underneath here and line it up with the side and glue it down. Now mine's looking, I feel like it's looking a little sloppy here because I didn't get it all the way lined up at the side. My glue is getting clogged. It's always clogged. Okay. 
So there is a corner pocket. And then I put those journaling cards on here um, in my album. And that is the page. That is it. Super simple. And it turned into this really cute album that will hold either photos or valentines that you get. So I thought it turned out really cute. Um, I've put the measurements down below. I just used the regular hidden hinge binding. So I have put the, the measurements down below for that. And I also put the measurements that I used for these, um, all of the pockets down in the description box below. Um, and then you have also the link, don't forget, to um, covering your chipboard the way that Tamara did it. Or you could just um, cover it as normal. Now, I also wanted to tell you that I did a two and a half inch spine. And you can probably get away with a two inch spine if you want. Yeah. Yeah, you could do away with the half an inch and do a two inch spine. Um, you would keep all your binding measurements the same. Um, yeah. But the two inch spine. Sorry, I was thinking about that <laughs> and what that would look like. Because um, I just feel like it, it could be a little smaller. Because even when I added all of the, the flowers and stuff that I added, um, it did not bulk up at all. So I really think you could do a smaller spine if you want to and make this book even smaller. Um, it is also very lightweight because I didn't use hardly any um, cardstock. I just used the pattern paper. It is light as a feather. <laughs> so... Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, I hope you like the album. If you make one, please uh, show me. I have a Facebook page, which is LM's Crafty Creations on Facebook. And um, check me out there and post your creations. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.